Hi, my name is Leslie Colucci. I'm the director of the Regional Dog Shelter here in Turner's Falls. We are about ready to put on our sixth annual Much Need benefit. We're very excited about that. The weather is lessening, which is nice. And we are expecting a really, really big crowd. We do have a fun parade today. The parade is for our dog alumni. Some of the dogs that we have adopted uh, the previous year have come to visit us. But I would like uh, you to now visit with one of our board of directors, and his name is David Pomerantz, and David's going to talk to you a little bit about some of the community members and um, how they have helped us. Thanks, Leslie. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Dave Pomerantz, and uh, we have a tremendous support from all sorts of businesses and organizations throughout the county here that help us make the shelter what it is and help us run our programs. Today, I'd like to run through the list of organizations who have so generously contributed to today's events. And we have uh, the Gold Paws donors. Uh, and let me run through the list of all our different donations today. So we have the Gold Paws, which is Brown Motors of Greenfield. We have Greenfield Savings Bank and Eversource. Uh, our Silver Paws helpers for today are Dylan Chevrolet, Eddie's Wheels, Scotty's on the Hill, Judd Wire Inc., Lundgren Honga, Mighty Clean Mutt, Perkaski's Sausage, Steve Lewis Subaru, and Bob Cook Excavating and Paving LLC. Our Bronze Paw contributors today who are also helping us are AH Wrist Insurance Agency Inc., Berniston Hillside Pizza, Lawn Service, etc., Gilmore and Farrell Insurance Agency Inc., and Greenfield Moose Lodge number 997. Also, we have Melanson Health, Partridge Zashu Insurance Agency, Smith Kelleher Funeral Home, and Terraza Restaurant. Along with those generous supporters, we also have many local businesses and individuals who are generously donating their time, goods, and services today, as well as helping us throughout the year. Again, the shelter receives tremendous support from many, many organizations and citizens throughout the county, and we thank you all. Leslie? Very good. Thank you so much for being here today, David. The other thing I want everyone to know is all the folks here in yellow, including me, have volunteered their time today. There's probably 25 um, volunteers that have helped put this program together, and they work tirelessly throughout the year to make this happen. So um, our shelter is really run by volunteers. We have two paid staff and the rest are volunteers. So we like to thank all our folks um, for putting in all their time today. So enjoy the show, and it's going to begin momentarily, and um, I'm glad you came. Greetings, everybody. We're going to get started. All right, what's a little bit of rain? Here we go. So first of all, welcome to the sixth annual Mutz and Mead Benefit. I want to thank you all for coming out. My name is Dave Pomerantz, I'm the Board of Directors, and I'd like to welcome you all here. It's going to be a great afternoon and evening, lots of activities. And before we get into the program, I have one quick announcement. There is a Subaru in the parking lot, Mass Reg MA11712. Your windows are open a little bit. The car is floating down the parking lot. If you want to go close your windows. MA11712, it's a uh, Subaru. All right. So I want to thank to the Dog Walker Band who generously donated their time and talents to help us have fun here today. Thank you very much, Dog Walker Band. We have many events planned for you this afternoon. Please have fun and keep in mind that all the money raised today goes solely to the care of the needful dogs in our community. You can enter one of the many raffles until about five o'clock and winners will be called during the dinner hour. The table out in the back corner where you came in has all sorts of great information on the shelter, 
the many activities and programs that come from the shelter and the many activities that the tremendous volunteers volunteers engage in on a daily basis. So check the table out in the back. If you would like to sign up, sign up as a volunteer, please do so. Also, there is a sign-up sheet on the table back there for anybody who might be interested in exploring the option of joining the board of directors for the shelter. We're always looking for people who would like to give of their time and skills. After dinner, Kevin from Bear Country has generously donated his services to call an exciting live auction for us. So go ahead and buy those tickets and take a look at what's on the table behind you, both for the raffle and for the auction. Uh, buffet dinner will be served right around 5.15. Uh, depending on how the grills are doing, we may move that up or down a little bit. And then the live auction will start around 6.30. You do need a bracelet to have dinner. If you don't have one, please see one of our volunteers in the yellow shirts. Don't forget to get a raffle ticket for the clam bake, a New England clam bake for 40 people presented by the well-known Franklin County Sheriff's Office Triad team. Again, see any of the volunteers in the yellow shirts for your tickets. If you are here with your dog, please be a good pet owner and clean up if necessary. Bags can be found at the welcome table if needed. In a few minutes, We'll be celebrating some of the many successful adoptions that the shelter has made possible. And one more note, make sure they're scattered around the tables. Make sure to pick up one of today's programs that has all sorts of useful and enjoyable information in it. I'd like to introduce to you now the director of the shelter, Leslie Colucci. Leslie? Hello everybody, thank you for coming once again to our awesome event. I know that all the people in yellow will not stand up, however, if you see all the yellow people, all you yellow people out there, Jason, is this too close? That's too close. All the yellow people are the ones that got this um, event going. So if you could give all the yellow people our volunteers, please a round of applause. Thank you so much for coming out on a rainy day. Uh, like I said, it's our sixth year here. We have family members, friends, dogs that couldn't resist coming once again. We're gonna probably put them at the end of the parade because they were here last year, but they had so much fun they came again. So that's kind of fun. So I'm gonna make this short because the parade is the attraction, but I wanna let everyone know that this year has been a tricky year because a lot of our dogs this year have either been star starving or abuse. So this year, this week alone, we had 10 dogs come into us that needed medical care. One was a mama with um, a bunch of puppies that are starving. We had a dog that had heat stroke and a lot of other um, crazy events that took place in one week. So let, I'm so glad you're here to support us and support these four-legged critters that um, we love so much. So we're going to let the party begin. You ready? We are ready. We are ready. Very important. Okay, here is Maya. Maya stays in, um, now Mabel. Mabel stayed in to our shelter probably 24 hours. These folks wanted a very active dog in the country. And I think, honestly, they found her. You can see that she's well loved and has a really cool uh, harness and vest. She was a perfect fit for this family who was waiting for a very active dog and loves everybody. Thank you, Mabel. Bonnie. Bonnie is now Tessie. Tessie is a really cool pit bull. He came to the shelter and this dog actually lasted a very short period of time as well. She well behaved, she loves all the dogs and people that she meets uh, when they go for hikes. 
she did last minute, um, she really did only last but a minute in the shelter because she was a, a favorite of many people and was bragged about. She now shares a house with another pity and we are told that when the owner walks both dogs, um, other dogs around the neighborhood come out to greet her. Give Tessie a round of applause, please. Come on, all right, I don't think our invisible Dale is here today, is he? Okay, we're gonna leave out there. Penny and Robbie, they're a trio. Who wouldn't love this pair, right? How can you not love this pair? All right, Penny is a caller that entered our shelter in very rough shape. She needed a lot of teeth removed. She was shy, she was shut down. She didn't know how to be a dog. She was afraid of everybody and turned her head when you walked in the room. Um, she was a great girl, quiet girl, but she wanted a buddy. So there's her buddy. Now, how can you not love that pair? Everyone give these guys a round of applause. I'm gonna ask that the next two teams come kind of together, if you would. I'm going to say their old names, okay? This is Reebok and Sketcher, kind of funny. This pair came to us um, from a hoarding case. These people did not know the other one was buying the same color vest. Now, how does that work? They, that doesn't work. They, um, these are bosom buddies, actually. It was a hoarding case that we had. We worked hard in... Um, uh, Susan again helped us without the coyote vote vest this time to help th get these guys adopted. But so let me live, give you a little um, story about uh, Ruby. Ruby is a young min pin. She was one of many who came to us in a hoarding case. Upon entering the shelter, she was scared of people. She was not house trained, had no idea how to walk on a leash. In a very short time, she was running around the shelter. I do believe she was stealing our lunches off our table, right, Gabby? And she was adopted and now lives in the Hill Towns and is the Star Agility winner. Okay, Sketcher is now Lily. She's your typical friendly but um, busy Chihuahua uh, mix. She uh, loved to tear around the play yard with her friend Reebok when she was with us. She is a silly active dog and quickly won the hearts of all of us. And again, both of them did steal food off our lunch table. Give these thieves a round of applause. <laughs> Josie. <laughs> now, how cute is that, right? Josie. Josie is a Shiba Inum, a gentle lady, had a lot to say when she came into the shelter. She was quite the talker. She um, demanded, not asked, many things of us and was a spoiled little girl when she came in. And it, oh, is she changing it? Okay, and it looks to me she was spoiled when she left. So let me tell you a little bit about Josie. Gentle lady, had a lot to say. Uh, she seemed to think she would all jump up when she spoke, and we did. She found a home in a local town where she got what she wanted because her owner knows her language, and we are told she is doing a lot of jumping lately. Yay, Josie. Yes. We have Joe. I'm not supposed to say Jojo because his name is now Joe. So here is Joe. Joe is adorable. What do you think this guy is? Lab, right? Until you hear him talk. This dog does not talk like a lab. He talks like a beagle. So Joe is a lab mix. Um, won everyone's heart at the shelter. He was a very happy, lucky dog um, when he came in, but he's even really more lucky now. He's outside all the time. He goes to work all day long with his, uh, his father and is loved very much by his family. As you can tell, the tail doesn't stop wagging. So, yay, Joe. and I had quite a little discussion because I really wanted this pup. You can see who won the bet. So, 
Rosie is now Jinx. Jinx is a Border Collie mix. This young lady runs. I do not. This dog needed to run. I did not need to run. So Rachel won the prize of our little friend, Jinx. This is Lobo. Lobo came to, in, to the shelter a really sad sack. He was never allowed out of a kennel. He never had a muzzle off of his face. Um, he did not know how to go to the bathroom outside because he was always in his crate. He was, um, everyone loved him, but uh, I think there's several people here that fostered him. You can let him kiss those, it's okay. Um, he's very curious about, uh, obviously, dogs and even fake dogs. And we really wanted him to go into a home with a, a young child. So Lobo got his wish. Lobo is a Siberian Husky. This lovely puppy, as you can see, is a much bigger now and enjoying the life in the country with their wonderful family and another dog. Thank you so much, Lobo. Ozzy, come on up, Ozzy. Now, how can you not? How can you not love this dog, right? This is Ozzy. He's a Shih Tzu. The dog um, entered our, sh our shelter, a shaggy mess. And Megan, who's here today, had oh goodness, I don't have to say much more, do I? I think he is saying it all. Kind of funny. Okay, he he was a <laughs> it was a shaggy. Oh, a mess. So Megan from Mighty Clean Met uh, cleaned him up for us. Um, he's, a, he's a little muffin. He's a show off, as you can tell. He likes everyone to look at him. And he's in a generous home with a wonderful owner. Thank you very much for bringing Ozzy. No, Tito. Tito didn't come. All right, 13. Remy. Now, Remy does not stop moving, but Remy loves everybody. And the foster person was, who's very young, who's here today, said, I don't know, I don't know about this dog. I don't know if you're ever, ever gonna adopt this dog out. Yes, he's pretty, but he doesn't stop still. I think he stopped still. And this wonderful gentleman has adopted him and told me today that it's the best dog he has ever had and all the dogs that he has ever had. So that says something about our little um, German short hair pointer named Remy. He loves everyone at the shelter, as you can see, and he won the hearts of all of us, even though he's a bouncing baby boy. And you can let him sniff those dogs, so that's fine. All right, thank you, Remy. <laughs> There are some kids in life that you just gotta squeeze. And this is one of those kids that I just can't help squeezing. This is Cooper. Cooper, can you please tell me what your dog's name is? Um, her name is Jovi, and she is a um, mutt, as you can tell, and she has a cape that has dogs on it. Who made that cape? My mom and my sister. Are they here today? Um, yes, they are. Can you point them out to us? Let's give sister and mom a round of applause. Thank you, Cooper. Gotta love that kid. All right, we ready? Okay, this one is gonna bring tears to many of our eyes because this dog could not walk when it came into the shelter. By the way, he can walk. This is just really funny because he loves the wheelbarrow ride. He can walk. We all love him. He was found, um, he almost didn't make it. I'll just leave it at that. So his name um, is Kringle. He does like to show off. This lady that is pushing Kringle, Mama, was a failed foster because she just couldn't bear to give him up. Can you blame her? 
Pringle. So let me t give you a little story about Pringle because it's on the other. Okay. Pringle is a senior dog. He's a mixed breed. He entered our shelter honestly half starved. We brought him to a local clinic as soon as he came in. He um, was under the watchful, watchful eye of many, actually two veterinarians, actually honestly three, and all the staff members of our shelter. Everyone fell in love with him. He did have several um, medical issues that we got squared away. Um, and as you can see, he is kind of a, a celebrity. And he's in our calendar as well. In what month do you think he's in? What has the hearts in it? February! Yes, he is our Valentine. So thank you so much. Let's give Kringle and Kathy a round of hand. All right, folks, we are done with our little parade. So go ahead and mingle, and we're going to start. I'm not sure what. David's going to tell you what's next. Thanks, Leslie. So we're going to keep things pretty loose now. Uh, check out the raffle tables over here. Get ready for the auction. Dinner's going to be at about 5.10 or so. And check out the information table at the back where you came in. Lots of good information and uh, we'll let you know when dinner's served. Thanks.